flagship smartphones like the Galaxy S7, the S8 or the Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 Hexels have uh, great features uh, within itself. But one of the stunning features which these smartphones have is the always on a display which we would have thought once at least to have in our smartphones and today in this video I am going to teach you how to enable this always on display in your smartphone. So for that stay tuned to Tech Arena. Before moving on to the video if you end up liking this do consider smashing the like button and also consider subscribing it's free by clicking the red color subscribe button below the description box and also click the notification button to stay notified now let's get on to the video in order to get this feature enabled in your smartphone you have to install a third party application from play store and that application is named as always on amoled beta version so uh, go to play store and type always on amoled the links in the description below and after installing this application uh, when you open it up you can see many uh, buttons uh, which is named as enable enable so basically it asks you to enable all the accessibility for the app in order to uh, you know enable that feature in your application guys remember this application is not only for rooted smartphones it's also for unrooted smartphones so you no need to worry and uh, the important note uh, I wanted to say you will be in the end of the video so uh, now after enabling all the accessibility uh, in uh, the application you can get the always on and display in your smartphone but uh, not only that you can also tweak uh, this application for you know various kinds of settings which you wanted to have in your smartphone like uh, the notification thing and you wanted to control the music through this always on display or not because some might uh, only want the display with the time but some actually want to receive uh, you know notifications in that always on display uh, control uh, your music while you're hearing to songs and various kinds of setting you can do also the brightness setting which is worth to mention but the drawback in this application which i have noted down is this application is not meant for smartphones which is having generally weaker batteries because when i install this app in my new smartphone honor 9i which is considerable to have uh, you know more than 3000 mAh battery uh, what i did is that I tweaked every setting in that uh, you know application to the highest possible even the brightness so what happened when before I was sleeping I just kept my phone uncharged the next day morning I had no charge left in my smartphone which is really bad uh, when taking uh, this kinds of uh, application so I just recommend people uh, don't install this application if you have battery power below 3000 mAh and if you have more than 3000 also don't tweak this setting to the max because you can tweak the you know brightness to some extent but not to the fullest as I did because the brightness you leave it as the default setting but when considering the notification and other thing okay you can tweak to some extent but not fully so that is it for today's video hope you like this I am Arraf here, signing off from Tech Arena. Let's meet in another beautiful video.